guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. I hope you don't mind my dog behind me. She's trying to hide her bone in my bed. I don't know why every time I turn on the camera to film, she just has to come in bed and just make a mess of things, but who am I to stop her? So today's video is quite exciting because I am doing a haul, but not just any haul, a Zara haul. Now I've done a mall haul where I've included clothing items from Zara, but I've never just done a Zara haul in and of itself and I have so many clothes to show you guys so it's a huge haul and on top of that it is actually affordable because I think every single item that I got has been on sale they have been having crazy sales in the month of February so if you're familiar with my hauls you'll know that I love affordable clothing and I'll always tell you the price that I paid the price that it was and I'll also tell you my size and show you how it looks like on so without further ado let's get started and let's check out what I bought at Zara! Are you excited? I know I am! <laughs> Comparing the original price, which was $45.90 to $9.99, can you go wrong? This is in a size medium, and it is this faux leather, vegan leather, pleather, whatever you want to call this, skirt. Now this is definitely a mini skirt maybe paired with even a chunky sweater like this one. I think that could be a really cool look. And I couldn't resist the price because it was $10, guys! $9.99. It has this nice zipper detailing. I would say that it's sort of like a rocker style piece. I mean, you can make this look a little softer if you pair this with like a chunky, like, pink sweater, let's say, or you can just go with that rocker vibe if you want. And I just really like the vibe. It sort of reminded me of something that I guess Jacqueline Hill would have, so I thought it was pretty cute. And for a guy's $10 from Zara, you really can't go wrong. The original price, oh, I wish I could see it. Okay, first let me tell you what I paid for this. I paid $12.99. Let's peel it back to see the original price. Nope, there's not even a virtual price, okay. <laughs> This is in the size extra small. Uh, all these sizes are gonna range. I'm usually around a size medium, but this was in an extra small and I thought it was pretty because it sort of reminded me of like a dress style shirt, which I'm into. And it had a little bit of that stretch around the um, waist area, just a little bit of stretch. I like that it is this navy blue color. It's not quite um, like leopard print or something like that, but it gives me those like leopardy print vibes. And it definitely has a nice long sleeve, which I love. And it goes all the way up to your neck, so it's not a v-neck by any means. I thought this would look really pretty paired with a very nice belt. But other than that, I just thought it was a really pretty piece and I think that it was a really good price. <laughs> so I'm loving this top. Next, let's go in with another skirt. This is definitely not a mini skirt. It is quite a long skirt, as you can see, super pretty. So the size is a medium. The original price, it says on here, is $79.90. $80 for a skirt? That's crazy. I mean, Zara is a little bit more pricey than like H&M or Forever 21, but at the end of the day, like $80 for a skirt? That's crazy to me. I paid this $15.99, which I just, I couldn't resist. I thought even if this isn't something that I would normally wear, I just had to get it for the price alone. It was so great. And it's actually a beautiful long skirt. You can wear this with like a um, crop top or even like tuck it in like a sweater like this would look nice tucked into a skirt like that. It has this pretty button detailing all throughout and it literally is kept together by buttons so you can even undo a button or two, just be careful with that. And I thought it was so beautiful. I would definitely wear this super high-waisted and with like a nice pair of, I mean, if you want to keep that more winter look, you could definitely wear this with over-the-knee boots so that you don't see your leg at all and you're good to go. But otherwise, this would look really nice with a pair of heels, pumps, stilettos, open-toed sandals, you name it. It was so pretty. Um, you can tell that this quality is nice and thick, so it definitely did feel like more of like a wintry skirt, if you can imagine wearing a skirt in the winter time. I really like this houndstooth print and I like the simplicity of it while also sort of being a statement piece. Nice and thick and really pretty for this time of year. So I'm loving this and the price was great. Next is this really pretty pink top. It sort of looks like a dress. So I'm wondering if I could even just wear this as a dress perhaps, like a summer dress. This is in a size large. The original price is $49.90 and I paid this $19.99, which is really good for this type of dress. It has buttons going all the way down throughout that again, keep the entire outfit together and these little tie strings on the side which are really cute. I just thought that this was so girly and feminine and dainty. I thought the price was pretty reasonable considering the original price of $50. I just found this so affordable. I feel like this entire
entire haul. It's gonna be quite affordable, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Next, another skirt. This is a mini skirt. I got this in a size medium. The original price was $45.90, but I paid this $9.99. This is a really pretty mini skirt because it sort of has that paper bag detailing on the waist. It comes with a little tie um, belt around the waist, which I always find flattering when it comes to skirts. It has this beautiful plaidish type look, but it is gray with just the ever so slightest amount of like white and even a little bit of pink throughout. It has again the button up detailing on the skirts. I guess I like that <laughs> detailing on my skirts. I thought it was really pretty. The price was so affordable, $10 for a skirt. You can tell that this is good material. It's very thick, it's quite heavy. So I think that this is so pretty. There's like a lot of detailing in terms of even the side buttons. So I just thought that this did look like quite an expensive piece. So to get a skirt like this for $10 was a steal. I'm so excited about this and I love the fact that a lot of these pieces are transitional so I can wear them in the winter time if I dress accordingly or carry them on to the summertime as well. Next, I'll show you another top that is quite long. I'm just really into these long oversized tops lately. This is in a size small. The original price was $39.90 which is not too bad but I paid this $15.99 which is great. This is just for this long sleeve top. This has this really pretty collar detailing. So this looks so like polished and it gives you that polished and preppy high end look, which I think is so cute. It is just plain black with this white detailing, of course, on the collar and even on the sleeves, which is really cute. It is so simple and understated, yet it's really polished and it just looks like such a nice outfit. And it seems to be that nice, comfortable material that doesn't like stick to your body, if you know what I mean. So it seems to be really good and again, it feels like it's good quality. So I found the price to be quite affordable and reasonable. Although this skirt is quite the statement piece with all these colors. So this skirt is a size small. This original price was $49.90, but I paid this a $9.99. When Zara has sales, the store looks like it's just crazy in there. There's like clothing everywhere. So if you do find a really nice piece, it's sort of hard to find your size. So I think that's why I just got this in a small. But it looked to be so pretty and it is a long skirt. So it's definitely gonna be like one of those past the knee type of skirts and also high-waisted, which I think are really cute. This is sort of that 60s vibe skirt. It's really cute. You can wear this with like a nice little blouse underneath or even a sweater, a, a tight top that you just tuck in, a bodysuit. I mean, you could wear this so many kinds of ways. And because there are so many different colors, there's that like mustard yellow, the burgundy red, there's like the burnt orange, the baby pink, white, even a baby blue. You can literally pair this with any of the color on here in terms of a top and this will always look different, which was so pretty. I would definitely wear this with a nice pair of heels and I think that would look so feminine and so cute. Perfect for the spring, I would say. It's not really wintry, but it's more on the spring side of things which I think was really cute. Next, uh, the one crop top I feel like I got in this entire haul. <laughs> it's sort of like this crop type sweater. It is this mustard yellow color. The size is a size small. The original price was $29.90, which is a lot for a top. That's probably why it went on sale, but it was $5.99. $5.99 is an incredibly inexpensive price, so I really do love that. This is a long sleeve top, and it is see-through, so you do want to be careful. It has this really nice, almost like lace, Esque pattern detailing on it so I found that to be very pretty and it's a crop top and it goes all the way up to your neck and lately I've been I have a lot of crop tops that are also like extremely deep V and when you're already wearing a small top and you have this like deep V look I feel like it's a little much so now when I've been buying crop tops I've been trying to either get like longer bodysuits if it has a deep V or I've been just buying them with like a higher neck to give it like less of a risque feel, I guess you can say. So I thought that was really pretty and for like $5, could you go wrong? Now this is this really pretty pink dress. The tag seems to have come off. So let's go into my purchases. Okay, dress. So I paid this $12.99. I do not know the original price of this. You can see that the tag says it is a size medium and this was $12.99 for this really pretty dress. Now this is wrinkled because it's been in here a long time so you'll definitely be seeing this on me wrinkled. I would of course iron this before I leave my house, guys. 
but I'm not gonna start ironing today. <laughs> so forgive the wrinkles of this. But it comes with this tie string belt, so I like that. I'm actually looking for more dresses that I can wear my own belt with, and even the fact that it has a tie string I always find to be flattering. So you can wear it with the actual belt that it comes with, or you can replace it with your own belt, which is really cute. And to go with the black belt, there are these black little straps on the shoulders. So this will have a bit of like a sleeve action going on, but it will show your shoulders. It does have a nice v-neck, and it looks to be like in the style of a wrap dress, but it's not a wrap dress. So the fact that you still get that style but without the actual wrap, I feel like would be a little bit more modest. I love this pink color and I like the fact that it is not such a mini mini dress, so hopefully it will be like in between like um, a dress that hits your knee and a dress that's like super mini. So I thought it was really cute and very playful and flirty. And last but not least, guys, I got this top for, okay, so this is a size small. It says it was $49.90. I paid this top $24.99, which was pretty good, I would say, considering that it was $49.99. It's this nice long top. It is definitely transparent, so I was already, before I bought this, I was already planning on how I would wear this, and I think I would wear this with a pair of high-waisted tights or even like faux uh, leather leggings. I think that would look cute because you, when it's still see-through, you kind of want something that's high-waisted that will like protect the tummy area. And then with it, since it is transparent, you can always, of course, wear an entire tank top underneath, or you can pair this with a bralette. You can wear a black one, or you can even wear a red one if you so desire. And I just thought that this was so pretty and it would look so cute. So guys, that's everything that I bought at Zara. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give me a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I hope you liked everything that I bought a lot of the pieces were so affordable and also very transitional so you can wear them from spring to summer to winter I feel like I had a little bit in there for everyone so again thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye guys